Okay, greetings and welcome to uh, this second video. Uh, Russell Hall here, just uh, taking you through the steps of uploading a WP Local Biz version 2 niche site to a root domain directory. That means a, um, a directory or a domain that is the main domain and not a a subdomain or a uh, folder domain. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in this process is to create a new database and the easiest way of doing that is to come to the database wizard in cPanel. We're going to give it a name and we're going to say new uh, realty RLT2. We'll go with this time, okay. New RLT2 is what we'll give the username as well just for simplicity click the password generator the first one that comes along is good enough we'll say we'll use that okay create the user now this steps important next because uh, what we've got to do is to copy these details here we will need them when we uh, put the details into the installer script so we just save them copy them to a, uh, a text file now that we've done that because once we've clicked all privileges and go to the next step that will disappear we will not see it again so that's why we recorded that okay and now on to the next step of uploading the files so we'll go back to the home page of the uh, cPanel navigate down to our file manager where are we? here okay and I'm going to install in the root directory of this um, domain here, datamox.com. Okay, so we're going to upload the files that uh, when you're doing this, this will be the files that you were sent. In this case, we're working with the real estate set of files. This will take uh, a minute or two, depending on the speed of your server to upload. We'll come back when that's done and unpack them on the directory. Okay, so that's all done now. It took about a minute, minute and a half, something like that. And we're done with this uh, window here now, so we can close it, come back to the main directory of datamox.com, and we just reload the page and should find our zip file. There it is. Now we want to open that up. So we go to Extract and we click on that. We Yes, we want to unload it to that directory there. Okay, and click Close and reload and there it is you can see just there okay now we can afford to delete this now we, it served its purpose we've opened it up it's just going to get in the way uh, take up space that we don't want it to and there we've got the installer package and the or the installer scripts and the actual uh, files the clone site files there themselves so we're going to put this on the um, on the main uh, the main directory so what we're going to do here is relocate these files onto the main root directory otherwise what will happen is our uh, niche site will be on a subfolder uh, directory uh, so instead of it being on datamox it will be on real estate so for instance if this was the name of a real estate uh, URL that's where we'd want it to be going Okay, so this is real easy to do. All you do is you, you select both of the files, hold down the control key and select them both. And now we want to move the files. So we just put move file. And where it's got down here, uh, currently the location is that they're in the real estate uh, folder. We just want to remove that and have them in the main directory here. So we click move files. They will disappear, as you can see. We go up one level and here they are in the main directory okay here okay. okay so the easiest way of doing this is to uh, navigate to datamox.com forward slash installer dot php so if we go to the datamox.com domain here and I just put in datamox.com forward slash installer I'll slide this up in a minute so you can just see how I've done this, although it's pretty self-explanatory. If I just slide this window up a little bit, there you, you can see the URL there. Okay, so we're on datamox.com uh, forward slash installer uh, PHP. Now when I refresh that page, you will see 
Okay. And there we go. Okay, so downrocks.com install a PHP and now we can start to work with this. I'll just slide this back down again. And what we have to do is put in here the um, details that we saved to the uh, text file for the database that we created. So let's just go back there. Okay, and the name of the database and the username are the same. And we did that for simplicity purposes. Okay, so for user, we just type in the user and the name, the database name. They're both the same. Okay, now we want the password. So we'll take the password. Remember not to copy in the little inverted commas there because they are not part of the password. Okay, and now we'll go and put the password in. Okay. Now it's prompting us he here to write in localhost in 99% of hosts it is so we'll just confirm that localhost okay it says test connection you can test if you want to uh, sometimes the test comes up negative and it could be an indication you've done something wrong but uh, not it doesn't always work success success if you think everything's right you can go ahead with the installation but yeah we've we've basically been given the thumbs up so we'll run the deployment it's just given as a warning here saying that anything that may be in the database if it's not an empty database will be overwritten it's asking us here okay that was the original URL we now want to se send it to this URL here um, is everything all okay yes it's all okay we'll just run the update and that takes about five seconds okay and when you see this page here that indicates that you've succeeded okay important final steps basically it's installed now we just want to resave the permalinks and that will take us to the login area of the um, of the site as you can see here okay we can do away with that page now okay that was the previous uh, window so now we're just going to put in the uh, the username of the password which was sent to you with your files Okay, the username for this site is, and the password is, okay, we're going to log in, and that will take us to the permalinks, okay, yes, that's what we want to stay with, all you simply do is click save changes, and you are done. But we're not quite finished because if we go to visit the site here and we'll go in a new window. Okay, so we open the link in a new tab. Okay, so what you see here is the beginnings of, of uh, our site. Now the only reason that uh, it's not showing properly is because we have not activated the theme. So what we're going to do is go to Appearance, WP Local Biz version 2. Okay, and it will give us this prompter window here. There's two things that we want to do. Um, remove the files, the uh, install files from, uh, from the uh, directory. Um, okay, delete reserved files. Okay, we've done, it does not exist. Okay, okay, we'll just delete all of them just to clean up what's on the server there. That's fine. So now we're going to go to um back to WP local biz login okay and it's asking us here for our activation now the email address is usually the PayPal address that you uh, you purchase with you could uh, actually put any email address in there but you must use the activation key that we sent you and so let's just go ahead and put in the email address and the activation key we activate and that takes a few seconds it's now activated and what we're going to do is again go back to that front end and refresh the page and you'll see everything will spring to life okay and there it is that's all done okay so uh, it was just waiting for the theme to be activated so it could call the, the style sheet and all the files into into place so that we could uh, start working with a site but that is an exact clone replica of of the demo sites and uh, everything works the way that uh, it should be working okay and all the pages are working 
um, everything's exactly the way that it should be. So now it's just a matter of going to the um, the back end and um, tweaking it the way that you want to you know have it set up. Uh, I covered this in the other video, but if you go, go to general, the first thing to change is the email address. Okay, so where are we? Email. Okay. Uh, okay, so you at your email uh, is just a fictitious email address. Once you change that, that will change it globally for the for the entire site, and that's important for things such as the um, contact form here. But we, as you can see, everything's intact. The coupons. Uh, for the coupon uh, creator, the WP Touch plugin is all set up and ready to go with all the settings that we we, we have set up there. You you might want to fine tune them, and of course you're going to have to change the footer settings to suit the name of your own business or website. We've left the duplicator plugin there uh, for you, and uh, that's it, all ready to go. So that's how you install a. Um, a WP Local Biz version to niche site on a root directory, not a subdomain directory. And as you can see, uh, we've got the um, we've got the uh, main URL here. Um, it's not on a subdirectory, and that worked rather nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please feel welcome to ask. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.